Hello, today we are going to learn about the new motion titler that comes with Pinnacle Studio Ultimate and Studio Ultimate Collection. This new titler is easy to use and will move your titles to the next level. First, let's select the T to show our titles. You will see that our standard motion titles appear. Click on any title and select the play button. That looks amazing. You can still access all of your standard titles by clicking on the drop down menu. I want you to notice the selection called My Motion Titles. Any motion title that I create can be saved here and used in future videos. Let's create a new motion title. Click on the video camera and this will open our video toolbox. Now select the T and you will see that we have four options to choose from. Motion title overlay, full screen motion title, classic title overlay, and full screen classic title. Select the overlay option if you would like your title to appear over video or a photo and select full screen option if you would like your title to cover the whole video screen. We are going to create a motion title overlay. Select the button and the motion titler opens. Before we get started, let me give you a quick tour of the interface. On the top, we have our standard text tools. Bold, Italics, Underline, Align, Flow, Fonts, Font Size, and Duration of the Title. On the left hand side, we have access to our videos, photos, objects, title looks, and title motion. In the left bottom corner, this is called background, and it will allow us to create a motion title that is full screen, just in case we changed our mind about creating an overlay. Click the checkered box to set a background color. Select the color and click OK. We now have a background. Our background can also be a video or photo. Select the photo and drag and drop it to the box and our new background appears. We can also use the eyedropper to pick a color from our photo and this slider will change the opacity of the photo. I want to create a video overlay so I'm going to click on the garbage can to remove the background. This is our layer list. We will be able to see all of our layers once we start creating them. This is the timeline and above the timeline we have several tools we can use. Add text, add a shape, align your text, group your text, move layers forward or backward, the playback tools, copy a layer, paste a layer, and delete a layer. Now that you know your way around the motion titler, it is time to get creative and build a title. First, let's select the word text and type motion. You can change the size of the title quickly and easily by grabbing any of the nodes and stretching the title. Move your cursor to the gold line and the crosshairs will appear. Click and drag your title to the position you want. Now select the Looks button on the left hand side and double click on a preset. It is applied to the title. Select the Settings tab and you will be able to adjust the face, edge and drop shadow. Click on the plus or minus to open or close your tools. The tools that I have available are Offset X, Offset Y, Size, Blur, Fill and Opacity. Simply grab a slider and move it in any direction to make a change. I am going to add a drop shadow to this text by clicking on the Add Drop Shadow. I am going to change the color of the shadow to white. Bring up the blur and offset the X. That looks great. You are probably asking yourself, when is he going to make the text move? It is called Motion Tidler after all. Let's select the Motion button on the left hand side and this will open up our motions. The tab above shows us Enter which brings the text on screen, emphasis which makes your text stand out, and exit which takes your text off screen. To add an enter, just double click on it and the effect is applied to the title. In fact, I'm going to click on a few so you can see how easy it is to change them. We are going to select the enter called type. Now select the exit tab and double click on an exit to add it to the title. It is that easy. I'm going to click on the timeline to stop playback. I can see the enter and exit motions when I scroll over the title. It is very easy to edit the timing of the motion. For example, if I want the motion to enter faster, I simply select the bar and drag it to the left. To make it longer, I would drag it to the right. If I want to delete the enter, then I click on the X and the motion is now removed from the text. To bring back the motion, select Undo Delete Motion. My new motion title has been created. To add another title, just double click on the screen and the new text appears. Let's type Studio 14. You will see our new title appears in the layer list below. 
Again, double click on an enter and also select an exit for our new title. As you can see, once you know your way around motion, it is really easy to create motion titles. Now that you are a pro on the motion titler, I want to show you something advanced. I want to take my two titles above and group them together. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of the titles until they are highlighted. Now select the group button and go to group. A group layer is created. Highlight the group layer only and select a few of the emphasis. The emphasis is applied to the group layer and as you can see adds movement to both pieces of text. Remember that an emphasis can also be added to an individual piece of text along with an enter and an exit. The choice is all yours. I can also bring in objects too. Select the object button on the left hand side and double click on the star. The star is added to my screen. I am going to lock the group layer because I do not want to make any more changes. I also want to drag the star layer above the group. I can now resize and position the star anywhere on the screen. I am also going to add an enter and an exit. The motion titler will allow me to have up to eight different layers. As the title plays back, you will see that we have created a unique motion title. If I want to, I can save this motion title by going to File from the drop-down menu and selecting Save Title As. Instead, I'm going to select OK and our motion title appears in the studio timeline. That was so quick and easy to create. Remember that the new motion titler only comes in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate and Studio Ultimate Collection.